Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. There are three prayer points I'm going to give you and I want you to pray it from the depth of your heart. This is a very prophetic season and I do not want you to be careless. Prayer point number one, you are going to cry for the seeing eye, the hearing ear, capacity to discern what God is doing in your life in this season. Please open your mouth and pray in one minute. Grace, grace, capacity to discern. Someone is praying. Shabalika parakatoska frede beleketosh. Capacity to discern what you are doing. Capacity to interpret the writings on the wall. For koinonia, for my life. Pray for yourself. Lord, what are you saying? What is the blueprint of your doings for the nation in this season? Reveal to me what is the strategy for victory. In the days that are ahead, call on me and I will answer, he says. I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Someone is investing a minute to your destiny. You are praying from the depth of your heart. Zaria, pray. Koinonia Global, pray. Following online, pray. Lord, grant me capacity to discern the things that you are saying. To discern the move of the spirit the wind blow it where it listed you cannot tell when it's coming or where it is going so is one who is led of the spirit discernment 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 give me the eyes to see who are the men you are bringing into my life in this season? Give me the grace to discern so I do not throw away Jesus out of the boat. You may throw away Jonah, but don't make a mistake to throw away Jesus. Thinking Jesus is Jonah. Both of them slept. Jesus was sleeping. Jonah was sleeping. You may throw away Jonah, but wake Jesus. Don't throw him out of your boat. Pray for discernment. Lord, how should I do ministry in this season? How should I run my family in this season? Give me the prophetic blueprint for excellence, for dominion. No assumptions. What are you saying in this season? Lead me to the scripture that becomes a compass for me. And the flexibility to follow virgin dimensions in the spirit trusting that they will bring me to my place of destiny in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the second prayer you are going to pray for grace for obedience of number one obedience to scriptures and obedience to what compliant prophetic instructions please lift your voice and pray obedience having the readiness to judge every disobedience the bible declares if and when your obedience is complete someone is praying in one minute someone is praying grace for obedience let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus that even though he was God, he considered it not robbery, but he humbled himself to die, even the death on the cross. Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name. I like you to pray. Grace to be obedient. Grace to be obedient. Whatsoever he says to do, do. Whatsoever he says to say, say. Whatsoever he says to give, give. Wherever he says to go, go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
the final prayer for tonight you are going to pray for yourself and all who are connected to you you are going to declare the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous either through the ministry of men or through demonic manipulations create a spiritual garrison around your life your ministry oh it will not be lost my bishopric will not be taken someone pray in the name of jesus the lampstand that god has lit with his fire it will remain burning to shine the light to everybody go ahead and pray rebuke the spirit of fear Rebuke the spirit of pride. Rebuke the spirit of complacency. In the name of Jesus, this one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind, I take away distractions. Someone is praying. In your prayer is the restoration of your prayer life. In your prayer is the restoration of your word study life. In your prayer is the restoration of your passion for the house of God the disciplines that bring and sustain graces pray Satan the Lord rebuke you the spirits of witchcraft ancestry manipulators that destroy the longevity of impact I come against you in the name of Jesus one minute pray with fire pray with passion from within your spirit cover your children cover your family Satan you will not take the life of any of my people Satan you will not destroy the relevance of every anybody around me decree it and declare soundness of health increase in wisdom longevity of impact Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me borrow one minute from you and add a prayer point for you. One prayer, I shall not die. Pray it violently for yourself and for your children. Lift your voice and pray. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Decree and declare. No, I shall not die. In the name of Jesus. Declare that your ministry will not die. Declare that your business will not die. It's not only humans that die. What God has given you can be destroyed by Satan. I shall not die. Pray. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord in this prophetic season. No enchantment, no divination, no weapon no demonic arrow will find expression in my life i stand immune fortified by the blood of the lamb please invest one minute and pray just obey prophetic instructions in the name of jesus christ cover your parents cover your siblings cover your business people cover the people in your ministry in the name of jesus protected by God preserved by God let the mark of the blood be upon you dreams about death dreams of seeing dead people rebuke those dreams right now in the name of Jesus life 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 even forevermore life vitality held in the name of Jesus life I cause the spirit of death pray I cause the spirit of death not by accident not by plane crash 
not by the activity of wicked men. You are immune. The eyes of evil will not see you. It will not see your children. No eye has seen, no ear has heard what God has prepared for me. So I submit to your work in me till Christ be formed in me. No eye has seen, no ear has heard what God has prepared for me. So I submit to his work in me till Christ before no eye has seen saved. No ear has heard what God has prepared for me. So I submit to his work in me till Christ before. One more time. Your glory revealed through me. So I submit to your work in me till Christ be formed in me. This is a moon. This is a moon. This is the moon. Let me give you an assignment. As you go home, please use this week to listen to this message again. Don't assume that just because you were here, you heard it. If you are a man of God, listen again. There is the hearing that brings awareness, but there is the hearing that brings understanding. Faith comes by hearing and hearing. There is the hearing. Many of us, we have heard the hearing of awareness, but there is hearing unto understanding. And it says, the he that fell upon good ground is he that heard and understood. Not just he who was aware. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me make an altar call right now, and then I just speak over our lives. I want to plead with us that every time we're making a call, I know that there's a crowd of people Let's minimize unnecessarily, except if you have to. A minute or two spared for the altar call does not stop us from going wherever. Let's, as much as possible, except if we have to, it's important to practice that discipline. Let's not get too used to ignoring and shrugging of the altar call. There's someone here, you heard me speak, and for you, the first instruction in this season is to make it right with Jesus. You came to church from the prayer to the worship, the testimonies and all that has happened in this service has been prepared by the Spirit himself ultimately to lead you to a point where you see the need for Jesus. It matters that you make Jesus Lord of your life is beyond being a Christian. So I'm making a call right now for someone who came to church in this auditorium, all the overflows outside Zaria, and our global family who is saying, Apostle, I need to make it right with Jesus. Or perhaps you are saying, I want to rededicate my life to Jesus. I cannot say for sure that I'm walking in the things of God. The times that we live in demand certainty and seriousness. I want to count one to five very quickly for sake of time. And I beseech you to leave your seat and to quickly run and come and stand in front of me. You do same in all the viewing centers, overflows, and all our expressions. Wherever you are, as I count one to five, don't wait for someone to be the first to come. Run and come and stand before Jesus. One, Koinonia, let's celebrate them as they come. 
Run to Jesus. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. Set our hearts on you. So you do. This is the moment we need more. This is the moment. Thank you very much for your courage. Jesus said, as many who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Azaria family and all who are making this decision, as I lead these precious ones in prayer, please do join them, mean it from the depth of your heart. Let me request all of you who are in front, please lift your right hand if you can, high above your head as a sign of surrender. And please say this convincingly, let it be from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, one more time, say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive jesus into my heart as my savior as my lord and as my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever i am a child of god amen Father, thank you for these precious people. They have come declaring your lordship over their lives. And based on the authority of scripture, I declare their sins forgiven in the name of Jesus. The power to live a victorious Christian life, I release upon you right now. And I declare in Jesus' name that you go forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' matchless name we have prayed. Amen. Now the counselors are waving the placard at you. Please do well to just move to my right, which is your left. They'll have a word with you very quickly and then you'll be back to your seat. Let's honor them. Koinonia, give them a big God bless you. Hallelujah. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you want you here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and then if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching